I have a lot of friends that whose goals may not necessarily be to to you know uh, they may not be centered around competitive shooting. Mm -hmm. um, they may just be centered around you know protecting themselves and their families, but they're not as committed to like like some of their goals may not be to become a grandmaster in USPSA or to win matches or anything like that. Um, would it still be important for them to to attend a Tim Heron class or maybe some of the other guys? Oh, absolutely. I feel I, I, it's, and that's why I, I have, I, I have to draw a very, very fine line. Right. I mean, um, when I began teaching and began coaching, um, I would say obviously a hundred percent of my, of, of my student demographic were competitive shooters, right? Because that's really the background they know me from. That's really the only background I've got. Um, is from a kind of like a, just obviously from a, a higher performing type of background. Um, but it's, it's not, it's never been what I wanted to do, you know, as far as like, I want to be a USPSA or an IDPA or a competitive shooting coach. Like I want to be a, just a high performing shooting coach and teach even, you know, the, the family self-protector, the the first responders, the you know law enforcement, military, um, defensive-minded shooters, hobbyists, just the the entire gamut of 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 shooters, how to make them better shooters. So it's been it's been really good um, over the last I gotta say over the last five years professionally doing this full time, I've seen. A, a trend kind of go in the other direction where before it was a hundred 90 to a hundred percent were all competitive shooters. Now that ratio is down to just about 50, 50, or dare I even say 60, 40, the other direction where say 40% of my, of my base demographic are competitive shooters or those that are, that maybe even just dabble a little bit in, co in competition shooting, but maybe aren't necessary. I mean, they're, they're wanting to up, up their game competitively but I'd say now it's a 50 to 60% of that are shooters that maybe they've just, they want to dip a toe in the water competitively, or maybe they've dabbled a little bit at an indoor match or an indoor outlaw range or match or, you know, something like that, but they really don't have any aspirations to do anything competitively, but they understand the importance of performance shooting and the benefits gained from say my experience in competitive shooting and how that can translate to them being, um, you know, higher skilled, uh, or better educated even as a, as a self defender. And so it's, it's been really neat to see the swing both directions, you know, and some, and, and of course it's always going to be class dependent, right? So some classes, it might be a hundred percent, um, you know, performance minded competitive shooters, and there's other classes I've gone to where like I've asked everybody in the class, like who here has any competitive shooting experience? And I might get one or two hands raised and they're like, yeah, I shot an IDPA match once like five years ago, or, Oh, I've, I've shot an outlaw match once. Tim, I think I'm losing your audio here. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I got you loud and clear. Okay. There we go. I and lost the last thirty seconds though. Would you oh, mind recapping just a little no. bit? So, yeah, the uh, like I said, the um, it's it's been really neat. The ratio has kind of switched both directions. You know, going from all competitive shooters to now 65 percent, I would say of of my classes now are primarily, you know, self defenders or uh, those that are just they want to build a, a higher level of competency you know, behind a gun and, and they, they, they kind of trust and understand the, you know, the value, I guess I bring uh, from a competitive background of just being like a better gun handler, better shooter. And uh, that's important. So I, I try not to market my classes as like purposely market the classes as a USPSA or IDPA competition class. Um, it, I, I kind of thought long and hard on you know, the, the term or the name of the, of my flagship class is just practical performance, right? So it, 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 it envelops practical shooting, both from a, a competition standpoint, but also like a practical standpoint, which is how USPSA and IDPA really began and evolved as, you know, they were, it, it, it was a, 
like a combative art and learning how to kind of compare which martial art was the best, you know, and, and, and in learning and like each person learning from that. And that's, that's kind of what I want to be able to carry on that same, that kind of that same legacy within this class. So practical performance. And we do, you know, I, I utilize like a USPSA style or IDPA style stage, right. Um, that everybody shoots as a, as a class, as an individual, but I don't do it for the, okay, let's learn better stagecraft. Let's learn, you know, how to shoot this stage at the, at the absolute pinnacle of our performance, because that's so important. It's, I use the stage and we only shoot the stage like three times in a class. We revisit that stage, you know, um, but it's, it's during particular portions of the class where it's most important. And we use the stage as a way to evaluate your ability to, to, to basically be able to, to put forth what you've learned in class and be able to execute it right then and there, you know, like how to, how to execute the things that you've learned and, and how to approach it a little bit differently, or a little more open-mindedly. So I use the stage itself, like USPSA stage as a way to, to, to basically just assess a student's progression through the class, right? And at the same time, it gives them an opportunity to see concepts in action and seeing the immediate, the immediate progress, right? Or the immediate gains by being able to, to, to apply those things right then and there, you know, like being able to shoot around cover and the importance of having the gun up ready to shoot, um, the importance of leading from one target to the next with your eyes first and being able to see that and then see the times immediately come down and be like, see, that's not just a, a neat concept. It's a concept that truly has benefits and you're seeing these benefits firsthand right, right then and there. And it gives other people an, an opportunity who may not have any competitive shooting experience to kind of, again, to kind of dip a toe in the water a little bit and be like, oh man, that was a lot of fun. That's way better than just standing in a lane at my indoor range or my outdoor range and just shooting at one target. And then also getting to share in the camaraderie where everybody in the class is encouraging everybody else in the class to get better and to do better. And, you know, the high fives and the, and the, you know, the woos and the screams and the yells and the, you know, and, and the cheering and it's, it's great to, to have people experience that too, because those are the things that, that keep me coming back to shooting competition. Like I love going to matches and shooting with a great squad of people because we all, even if you're competing at the pinnacle, you know, trying to beat that guy, you're still coaching that guy, you know, or cheering that guy on to do the best he possibly can. And that, dude, that is so cool. You know, I mean, we didn't even get that in racing, you know, I mean, in racing, it's great. <laughs> But I mean, in, in the shooting sports, it's just a different animal, you know, for the most part. I mean, most everybody is encouraging and wants to see everybody performing at their best, even if you're direct competitors with each other. And it's cool, it's cool to share that experience with students and let them know that like as a whole, yeah, sometimes there's some soggy bottoms, you know, in this industry that, that try to, you know, kind of try to rain on people's parades, but I mean, the overwhelming majority of people love to share, love to help, love to assist uh, and love to guide uh, other people to, you know, to, to get better, which is cool. Folks, I want to give a very special thank you to Top Gun Shooting Range here in Memphis, Tennessee. This is where I teach personally. You can shoot our fully automatic machine guns in a safe and controlled environment. We also have a barbecue restaurant right here in the building. Ferguson's Barbecue has 4.7 stars on Google reviews, and also it's the only public range in the Mid-South that allows you to draw from the holster, and personally, I believe that that's the best way for you to practice for handgun self-defense. Folks, I do not shill for anybody. I promote the causes that I believe in, and I believe in Top Gun Memphis. Come by and see us.